one of the areas where all of these large language models are going to have a huge impact is healthcare. We already have seen on the market that there are a lot of LLMs which are fine tuned on medical data are appearing. Most of them are good. I have tried them out on my channel and they perform very well on various questions. But having said that, there is a flurry of these models. How do you know which models are safe, which models are producing correct data? Because this could be the matter of life and death. So evaluating these models by people and companies is not easy. Evaluating the medical knowledge and clinical reasoning capabilities of these large language models is crucial as they are increasingly being applied to healthcare and biomedical applications. This open medical LLM leaderboard provides a platform to assess the latest LLMs on their performance on a variety of medical question answering tasks. This can help identify the strengths and gaps in medical understanding of current models. If you look at this leaderboard at the moment and let me scroll down, you will see that these are the models which are currently at the top. I have already covered most of them. For example, at the top of the charts is OpenBio LLM Llama 70 billion. Let me make it a bit smaller so that we would be able to see it. There you go. So you see its average score is 86, which is really good. And then comes MedPalm. And then at the number three is GPT-4. So open bio LLM Llama 70 billion has even beaten GPT-4 on average and also on various tasks, which I will describe shortly. If you scroll to the right, we have MET MCQA, MET QA, MMLU Anatomy, Clinical Knowledge, Clinical Biology, College Medicine, Medical Genetics, Professional Medicine and PubMed QA. And you can see all of these have been scored on these benchmarks so for example um, the way it works is that they evaluate the models on nine medical q and a data sets using the eleuther ai language model evaluation harness which is a unified framework to test language models on different tasks also let's talk about these data sets which you can see here so for example we have this med qa the third column or fourth column here this one MedQA is USMLE and it consists of uh, more than 1200 real world questions from the US medical license exam or USMLE to test general medical knowledge then we have at the towards the end we have Bob MedQA which I showed you earlier this is a 500 questions constructed from PubMed article titles along with abstracts as context to test understanding of biomedical research and then similarly we have this med mcqa which is more than 4000 questions from indian medical entrance exams spanning 2.4k healthcare topics then we have mmlu clinical knowledge which is uh, around 265 multiple choice questions on clinical knowledge similarly medical genetics is on medical genetics questions anatomy is mcqs on anatomy and then professional medicine college level biology there are 144 mcqs and for college medicine there are 173 college medicine uh, mcqs also they are using evaluation metric as uh, metric accuracy which is acc that is used as a main evaluation metric across all data sets if you go through this leaderboard website, you will see that they have also provided their result directory and there are also logs there. You can even run this evaluation script at your own. All you need is a Python and then you can just run Python eval medical LLM. It, it will generate it on your local system on this model. So also another interesting thing which I found out is that you see that on the very first column, there are a few icons. So for example, this orange one, the first one, this is fine-tuned model and the green circle is pre-trained model. So this is a huge difference. So when a model is fine-tuned, it is performing well. Also, um, there are few where I saw some, uh, yeah, so this one, so red and black circle. This is the instruction-tuned one. And then um, there is also maybe I saw a blue one. 
let me see if i could find it here okay so i couldn't find it anymore but there was also a blue one here which stands for um, reinforcement learning tune so pretty good uh, leaderboard in my opinion also um, i think that there are this thing um, open bio llm if you want to know more about it i already have covered it in detail i also have a video where i show as how you can get it installed locally and privately on your windows system and ask it medical questions at your own but having said that i have to say it again that um, these leaderboards and these llms trained on medical data are not the substitute or replacement of human physician so please make sure that you understand that and if you really have some health issues or health questions always always refers to the humans because ai is not at that stage so the this open medical llm leaderboard is really awesome it aims to track rank and evaluate the performance of llms on medical question answering tasks as i said it evaluates llms across a diverse array of medical data sets and that list is increasing now the uh, just one more line on this evaluation metric which is which they are using it is the accuracy or acc if you want to submit your model which you have fine tuned or instruct tuned you can submit it from their submit page and they have that submit page here on this um leaderboard let me find out there you go if you want to submit it just click on submit here and then there is a criteria which you need to follow and it should be in this format and then it is going to um, show you different things here that some people have submitted it and it has finished evaluation and then the, it is running evaluation on few of them which have been submitted and then there is no um, pending evaluation so when you submit it you can know the status what is happening with your large language models also um, just on the transparency side if you go down again if i don't see it okay so what so this is llm benchmark and then here some people have some reservations around how come gpt4 is at number three so according to the leaderboard these results are taken from their official papers also medpalm doesn't provide zero shot accuracy so that is why they are using five shot accuracy from their paper for comparison and all result results here presented are in the zero shot setting except for Met palm 2 which uses five shot accuracy also gemini results have been taken from recent clinical nlp paper and they have also given the link to it so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching